The career of engineering surveying is, is changing all the time. If I look back to when I started 30 years ago, we didn't have the technology we have today. A lot of your current skills, not your mapping and core surveying skills, but your digital skills are actually used in surveying all the time. Moving data around, changing data, writing code, these are all modern skills that can be enhanced within the engineering survey team. My name is Jack Williams Lane and I'm an apprentice engineering surveyor. I'm Alison Small and I'm an engineering surveyor. My name is Matthew Badley. I'm Izzy Taylor and I'm an engineering surveyor. I'm Stephen Jack and I work for Skanska as a graduate engineering surveyor. My name is Gavin Murby. I'm a drone pilot. Last week we ran a GNSS campaign uh, for the newly installed control points that we've put in. This is all for the tunneling that's going to start going into progress um, maybe later on this year. On site, alongside establishing the construction project survey control, I undertake terrestrial laser scans using the Leica P40. Alongside the Leica TS60 for control, I use the Leica P40 to collect a million points per second, capturing the surrounding 360 area. I've started on HS2 Mainworks and today we are doing a large GNSS campaign that works all the way from central London all the way up to the M25. All these points will be accurate to a few millimetres. We've got two types of drones. We've got survey grade and media grade. Uh, survey grade will create a 3D model of the area and can calculate volumes from that. We've got about five teams out on site all floating around um, the Old Oak Common area, establishing secondary control. Once all this data is gathered, then we post-process all the vectors, the baselines, and establish accurate control points. We are given the opportunity to trial the latest technology on the market. This is the Trimble Sight Vision Kit. The handheld device allows the user to visualise a 3D model live in the real world using augmented reality. Currently, we're using the Leica DNA03 instrument in order to level throughout our project this will ensure that our project is in the right position and set to the right heights. I was looking for a company in which I could progress and develop myself as far as possible and Skanska has got a reputation when dealing with its staff for providing as much training as possible and making sure that you're getting all the opportunities that you possibly can to progress in your career and, and develop yourself. I completed the two-year Skanska graduate scheme and have since taken on the role of an engineering surveyor. During the graduate scheme, Skanska encouraged me to undertake various training courses, including the first aid course and the CITV's SMSCS. The survey manager asked me if I wanted to start up the drones for Skanska, so it was an opportunity that I couldn't turn down. Since joining Skanska, I felt very supported as a part of the wider organisation. When I got put on my apprenticeship, that was the that was the ideal scenario, you know, in a classroom, 20% of the time maybe, learning the theory, doing things on site, working with the kit and the experience that I get, you know, from the projects that I've worked on. I started off with no surveying background and, and I've come on a hell of a lot. Really, really uh, push you to do well as well. I've worked with some of the, the best possible senior surveyors that I could who've made sure that I, you know, that I've developed myself and pushed myself. Joining the engineering survey team has been really amazing. But really a part of the team, a team with a wealth of knowledge that are willing to share that and are open to networking amongst each other.